What's she doing back round here? That's what I want to know. Maybe she likes the hot pot. You don't think she's sniffing round Daniel, do you? Nah, he's with Daisy now. She's well fit. I beg your pardon? You all right? Hey, sorry I'm late. <sighs> Get out of the school. There are these things called texts. They're brilliant. You can even do them on your phone. I'll show you if you like. Point taken. Bumped into Nikki on the way here. Said that you set her up on some sort of blind date. Yeah, about that. Yeah, well, she's sorry she ran off like a scared cat, but she's had some bad experiences in the past, apparently. Yeah, I'll bet she did. Sorry? They knew each other. Small world? Yeah, yeah, you could say that. He was one of her clients. She's a prostitute. Poor girl. Hardly. If footballers are a clientele, I knew there was something dodgy about her. Come on, people have to do all sorts of things to get by, don't they? But I thought you'd have been a bit less judgmental of all people. And what is that supposed to mean? Hey, keep your voice down. I'm sure she don't want it broadcasting. Yeah. No, I would take what I could get if I was her. Now there's no telephone boxes to leave her cards in. Come on, Daisy, you're better than that. She works with kids, Daniel. What the hell is going on in that school? Is your geography teacher selling crack? Maybe Crawshaw's moonlighting as a lap dancer. I bet it was just something that she did when she was struggling. I'm sure she doesn't do it anymore. But how do you know that? Because she's got a new career now, hasn't she? She's dedicated. Oh, um, have you changed the bitter? I'm not supposed to be working. Well, could you? As a personal favour, I've just painted my nails. Two pints of lager, please. Coming up. I didn't realise Nicky was back on the scene. Hey, tell you what, I'll get these. Say thank you for looking after Bertie. Ricky Fresh! Yeah? Why you sit down? I'll come and join you. It's been a while since we've had a catch-up. See ya. Hey, I'm off. I'll see you later. OK, bye. You going already? We're getting a takeaway. I just heard you mention Nicky to Daniel just now. Hmm, that one. You're not a fan? Not really, but I try not to judge. I suppose we've all got to pay the bills somehow. But most of us choose to do it without having a mattress strapped to our backs. Beth is defo not a fan. That's an understatement. Live and let live, I say. I'm surprised you're so cool with it. I mean, I wouldn't be if our Kirk had been using a prosy before me and she's still hanging around like a bad smell. I might go that extra hot Kahari again. You will not. Not after last time. Tra. See ya. Are you still all right with me having the night off? Yeah, sure. I'll text you if we get coach loading. Got plans with Daniel? Yeah. Yeah, I do, actually. Well, you seem angry. Wow. It must be that incredible level of perceptiveness that makes you such a great teacher. I know it must have come with a bit of a shock what Ashley told you about Nikki. No, I couldn't care less what she does for a living. She can service the whole of Weather County, including the referee, for all I care. What I cannot bear is you lying to me. I don't know what you mean. Oh, stop it, Daniel. Just stop it. You're embarrassing yourself. And worse, you taking me for a fool. I spoke to Beth and Kirk. Oh. Oh. Now, I have many, many questions, obviously, but I think number one on my list is when they said that you used to see her, was it as a client? It's not what you're thinking. You have no idea what I'm thinking right now. I never paid her for sex, I swear. Please, just listen to me. <clears throat> I was depressed after Sinead, obviously. Adam took me on a night out. I met her at some party that he was invited to for solicitors. She was in the right place, then. She actually made the same joke. Yeah, well, I'm glad we got so much in common. We were getting on. And we went up to her room. And practically before we were even through the door, she was asking me for 150 quid. I was shocked. Me too. Barely worth 100. I turned her down flat. That's the truth. On Bertie's life. I was humiliated. I think I threw 40 quid at her and just scarped out of there as quick as I could. No. No, because you saw her again, according to Beth. 
Please understand. I was so messed up. Broken. <clears throat> I felt bad about the way that I'd left it, the things that I'd said to her. She'd given me a number, and I wanted to apologise. And? What, she was offering some happy hour special that you just couldn't refuse? No. What, then? Because you've clearly got history, so tell me what it is, or Okay, I'm... cards on the table, I did pay her, yeah. God. But not for sex. For what, then? Go out in the bathroom? I paid her to... I paid her to dress up as Sinead. Daisy, please wait. It was bad enough when I thought you were just some horny saddle, but to hear you were practically Hannibal Flame and Lecter. Please, I need to explain. Why don't you give Nikki a bell? Or Tiffany Blue Nights, as she apparently went by? You know, she's like Superman. She's a mild-mannered teaching assistant by day. My wife had just died. Sinead was your age. No age. I had an infant to bring up. I was having some sort of breakdown. I know that now. Nikki was... She was just there. I wanted Sinead back. I didn't want to have sex with Nikki. I didn't want to have sex with anyone. Do you have any idea how weird this sounds? Of course I do. Do you think that I want to be telling you this? Do you think I want anyone to know? Fine. I'll hear you out. What I don't get is how can you, the great guardian, read and bleed and heart moralist, how can you think it's all right that a hooker, I'm sorry, a sex worker, works in a school? She's not still doing it. This was ages ago, a year ago, more. That's why I want to support her. Of course you do. She's got a kid to feed. She's got a rent to pay. Well, I'm sure it paid more than fresh goes. I'm sure that it did, yeah. But that doesn't mean that she enjoyed doing it. And yeah, I might be this big bleeding heart, like you say, but I felt guilty. I felt like I owed her. Because I facilitated a career choice by paying for her myself. I'm glad that she's turned her life around. I want to do everything I can to help her. You talk a good fight. I am just trying to be honest with you. A bit late, I know, but still. I thought you'd had sex with her. Not just asked her to be a human mannequin. I never quite said that. What? I never paid her for sex. But later on, when we got friendly, yeah, we did sleep together, but that, that was just... What? A freebie? A thank you? Well, a piece of boss of chocolates, I will give her that. I'm trying to be honest. That's a laugh. I have had to wring the truth out of you piece by piece. You know everything that there is to know now, I swear. If you want any kind of future for me and you, I don't want you seeing her again, ever. I work with her. I don't care. Either you tell the school and let them deal with it and promise me never to see her again or we are finished. And you won't talk me around this time, I can promise you that. <laughs> <laughs>